Coming up next, it's a UFC women's bantamweight division matchup. All right, so here she is, the decorated kickboxer, back for another run here in the UFC. Such a wide, vast array of kicks and punches in her arsenal, but it all comes back to elite technique. Oh, yeah, she has phenomenal technique. There is no wasted action. What I really love is the left hook. She does a great job of throwing her left hook behind her right hand. She throws the right hand, and the left hook follows. It's always so tight. It's always so clean. And then outside leg kick, every combination ends with a kick. When you think it's over, she is putting one more technique, one more opportunity to put some damage on you before you get to go back to space and go back to the safety of her out of your face, which will only last for a short period of time. She certainly has a crowd-pleasing style. No surprise to see her back in a high-profile slot here tonight. Well, I'm not sure if she's a third-degree or a fourth-degree Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt. All I know is that you are in imminent danger every time she closes the distance. Oh, the belt color hasn't changed, John, but they <laughs> are just adding stripe after stripe after stripe. <laughs> she's got so many stripes on her Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt that it's unbelievable. And because of that ability to do Jiu-Jitsu at such a high level, it's almost like you're going into biology class whenever you go on the ground right. with her. Because as you're thinking, if I do step one to get to step two, she's already on step five. Right. She's working on the finish before you even understand that you're in danger. The, the quick strike ability in the jujitsu is something not many people possess. I cheated to pass my biology final in college. <laughs> I wish there was a way to cheat in jujitsu, <laughs> but she doesn't need to. Big spot for her here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. <laughs> Introducing folks, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a kickboxer, making her professional debut here tonight. She stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 121 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA Mountain. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a jiu-jitsu fighter, making her professional debut here tonight. She stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of San Francisco, California, Merciless. All right, you can lose the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. Want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? All right, here we go with round one, the classically trained striker versus the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt. A lot of people believe if she can get off with the hands here early, it could be a quick night at the office. Yes, yeah, she has to use her hands. She has to be fast and has to really make a point to not be kicking too much because this Jiu-Jitsu player, this lady, this female who has a black belt in the highest order will be trying to time those kicks to use them to lead into takedowns. She's got to fight behind her jab, fight behind the hands, and make sure she does not get reckless because the moment this fight hits the floor, this is where the jiu-jitsu fighter wants to be. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Oh, beautiful connection by her on that punch. She's so fast when she throws. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Well, that left hand has been there for her tonight, not on that side. All 
right, so again, we find ourselves here in the clinch where there are obviously no shortage of subtleties and nuances. A lot of motions in here that maybe are lost in the casual field. Absolutely, and it's gonna be the underhook. For all the things that happen in position, the person winning and controlling the underhook battle is the one out ahead. It's such a fast leg Both kick. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Nice punch lands over the top. Well, she missed with that right hand. Beautiful body from the man, right under the elbow. Stuffs the takedown shot there. How good is her takedown, D? Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Just missing on the counter there. And she lands the knee to the body now. Oh, nice right hand. Oh, ouch. A commitment to excellence. She finally gets this fight to the ground after many failed attempts. She was not discouraged. Now she has this fight exactly where she wants it. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Oh, she's got the full mount now, DC. Her ground and pound is fantastic, and maybe that'll arch. She's going for the arm bar here. Attacking arm bar. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Oh, saved by the bell. Round over. And the finish came just in time. Thought maybe she might tap there, but you know how tough she is. So the submission attempt right at the end of the round, saved by the bell, back to the stools they go. We'll see if she can recover in time for this next round. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays. You knew she came in with the book on her as a kicker, and her opponent did nothing to adjust. Her opponent didn't check one kick. So why would she not continue down that path? Why would she not continue to throw her hands just to set up those beautiful, nasty kicks? And she is landing them with full force every time she throws them. All right, here we go. Next round is underway. And how about her kicking game in the previous round? My lord. She is so good at just blasting kicks with no regard for what's coming back at her. She's not worried about the counter. She will check a reverse kick. She always moves her head off the center line when she throws kicks, so she is not in any danger of taking a counter right hand. Nice kick. Clinch. Back to the kick the tip lane. Oh, nice double leg, yes. Well, her opponent is squirming, and this might be the beginning of the end. The ground and pound strikes continue to land at will. She's landing him over and over again. She needs to make sure that when she's chasing the finish, she doesn't get excited and lose the position. All right, so the ground and pound strikes continue to land. She's not staying busy for the sake of it. She is doling out damage. She's landing a lot of punishing ground and pound. And this is going to really zap her opponent as they get back to the feet. <laughs> ground and pound strike is true. Nice job by her there. You see how strong she is. Her opponent's trying to control posture, unable to do so. Now she can get the work and put the money in the bank with that grounded pump. Money in the bank. Just over two minutes now to go on the round. Oh, and with conviction, she moves right into half guard. Without much effort, she was able to pass from her full guard right into half guard. Well, you hate to be overly critical because she has landed some good shots, but really nothing in terms of combinations to me. She's got to let it fly, man. She needs to let the combinations fly. She's got to find the confidence in knowing that all that repetition, all that work with her boxing coach is going to pay dividends inside of the octagon. Nice punch here. Oh, look at that combination. I got two words for you, champ. Head trauma. 
head trauma, which can be fought by head movement. <laughs> Young lady, move your head, move your head. You want your parents to recognize you by the time the fight is done. Again, in the clinch. Man, look at the bruising and the redness starting to appear on the left side of her body there. Not good. When you're in the clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot. That's incoming. All right, let us now check out some of the action from that round, DC, and what a display of striking for her. Yeah, she did a fantastic job of finding her spots, putting herself in position where she was the one landing and really dictating the pace of the fight. She did a great job of mixing up everything to get in control. All right, DC, the next round is underway. She landed a high number of total strikes in the previous round and figures to pick up where she left off. She better pick up where she left off. She needs to keep the pressure high. Her opponent is already starting to slow down. You can see the damage starting to take effect as they get ready to get this neck run. Good punch land. Just missing on the uppercut there. Leg kick. Another punch position. What a wrestler. That was an amazing takedown. Well, she was long on grappling experience coming into the UFC, and you see her chops here. Just beautiful when it comes to the transition. It's very difficult to keep up with her on the ground. Solid strike on the ground. Oh, nice job by her to posture up there. Now we'll see if she can maintain that separation. She has to recognize that her opponent will start trying to squirrel away now, but look for her big ground upon. Great movement by her here on the ground, and she just does it so fluidly and so easily. It's really a sight to behold. You can tell that she's been a lifetime developing the skill with the way that she's able to move with so little effort on the mat. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. How good is that right hand? Man, she is just non-stop on the ground, moving in all the right directions. Another nice transition by her there. She's moving a lot, but every movement has purpose. Right hand landed. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. now, DC, and I know when you're in this position, you're looking to pass the half guard. Oh, absolutely, trying to get the half guard so I can start to get up ground and pound. This is exactly what she needs to do. Not only does it get you to a position to get off ground and pound, it also takes a lot of the danger away right. from your opponent off of their back. Half guard is not nearly as dangerous as full guard, so get the half, land some ground and pound, get posture, and then continue to dominate on the ground. With that, our next round is now underway. And maybe in 2005, she would have gotten that submission in the previous round. But submission defense across the board is so good now, she was unable to close the shot. The game is evolving, right? The game is continuing to evolve. And people are so well-versed in all areas of mixed martial arts. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. 
Oh, shot to the body connects there. Beautifully placed right underneath the elbow. She didn't really throw a lot of body shots overall in the fight, but in the latter stages, smart to work the body. Nice leg kick lands. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Again, they will clinch. We'll see how it goes. Look at how she drives her knee right into her opponent's midsection. And she connects with a punch there. We'll see if she can follow it up now. She's been landing at a super high rate. She's in a great flow right now. DC, for my money, she's really timing her shots pretty well here tonight. Her timing, accuracy, and also the activity level is great tonight. Big and kick. She's starting to put together some significant body work here, and these are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. All right, so once again, they will clinch, and we will see which fighter is able to advance their position from here. Who's going to be the first one to attempt the takedown? Both of our combatants have the ability to score and secure the position. Who's going to be the one that makes the first move? Oh, swing and a miss. How about the slip by her there? What a great job of moving her head right at the right time. Timing her shots nicely here tonight, DC. She's doing a great job, but not only being active, she is so accurate. She's on point tonight. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Ooh, what a punch. Well, there's no denying her power. She has been pretty accurate here tonight, but she's the type of fighter when she goes to the drive through window. She's just getting the sandwich. She's oh, not getting the combo meal. That's embarrassing. <laughs> that's embarrassing. You're going to go and order a sandwich. That allows your opponent to stay in the fight. Give him the entire combo. Buy the french fries. Buy the drink. Really put it on her. Go get her. Extend that combination. Be confident. Go and try to find something that's going to end this fight. All right, so no surprise. Once again, we find ourselves here. Beautiful level change leads to the takedown. 45 seconds remain in the round. Well, she did not miss a single grappling practice during this training camp, and here's your evidence. Outstanding movement on the ground. She looks like a master of grappling with the great movement that she's showing on the ground. And there's the buzzer indicating the end of round four. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. She won that last round. We're moving into the final round right now. She's ahead on the judges' card. All right, let's get you some replays from that previous round, DC. I thought she mixed it up beautifully on the feet. Yes, she did a great job. I mean, she landed everything. She showed a complete example of what her mixed martial arts game has become as she's been in the UFC now for a little bit of time. You ready? You ready? So here it is, folks, fifth and final round. Oh, that's a nice strike. Man, that hurts to watch as she continues to punish her opponent's body here in this round. Big kick land. Try to establish that jab. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. She lands a switch D. What a punch. Superman punch lands! Back to the feet now. Again, she chooses to clinch here. Nice one-two there. And she caught the kick. Well, she lands another strike to the body here, and the percentage is getting high now in terms of the body strikes landed. Didn't see a lot of that earlier on, making up for lost time here. All right, so once again, the fighters engage in the clinch. We'll see who will have the upper hand here. Jim. There are so many. What a big time takedown. How good is her movement here on the ground, right? Shades of Ray Gore just transitioning so beautifully. Yes, yeah, she's so good at transitions and movement. Her ability is unmatched. 
Wow, there is just a viciousness with which she operates here on the ground as she continues to get the ground and pound game going. She might get a finish here. She's looking for a finish. She's so good at dictating these ground exchanges, and she's doing a fantastic job of building posture to try to land that kill shot. Going for the arm here. It's in there deep. There you go. Side control now. One minute to go in the fight. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Oh, nice strike on the ground for him. 30 seconds now to go in the fight. Back to her feet now. Good sign for her. Beautiful placement on that hook. What a great job of finding such a massive shot. Oh, and she connects there. Beautiful punch. Great punch, but what's next? What is she going to use to follow it up? What a fight. The official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 49-46. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Mountain. Right, so pretty clean effort out of her, really, from the opening horn tonight. She is your winner by unanimous decision. And as a fan, you understand how important this is in the evolution of someone's career. She did a great job of staying focused, staying the course, and getting a unanimous decision.